Well, unfortunately for us, the shots we made the other night, the shots we've been making, they didn't go. We didn't get as many attempts, and we probably spent a little too much time trying to drive and create things rather than just make it simple and, um, and, and really drive it uh, for that next kick. I think we're conscious of trying to get fouled, and uh, we knew that the foul line is so important in this game, and it's so important to Purdue. They're undefeated when they win the free throw game, and they got that again tonight. But we missed a lot of the shots. I mean, they looked down. Uh, they were right there, and, and it'd be one thing if they were all challenged, and unfortunately for us, they were open. And, and uh, we took a few that, were, that weren't right. We took a few we'd like to have back, but that's going to be part of the game. Um, we gave up too many points in the post, and it wasn't just the post-ups. It, it was the rebounding. And we did not rebound the way that we needed to. And uh, our front line did not. Um, it's one thing to give up the points, but we've got to get some defensive boards. And so the defensive rebounding, uh, it hurt us. It definitely hurt us. And, and um, we, can't, we can't play along that front line and have Emmett, Colin, and Hunter combine for two boards. That's just not, that's not going to get it. Right, so we've got to keep, we're, we're capable of better, and um, we've got to do better, and we will. So it's uh, unfortunate on a great crowd and great energy that we fell short. They played hard, we played hard. Uh, we could have played a little smarter, but the bottom line is um, a couple of those shots go down, it's a different story for us. And at the end of the game, uh, when it was a two-point game, we wanted to come and push and get into a pick and roll. And we should have done a better job of waiting for the screen and then making recognition. And again, it's not about, it's not about the two or the three because we wanted to push. And then if it wasn't there, we'd have time for a timeout. And, uh, but we got to let the screen uh, get there and, and then let the, uh, I think it was James at that point, get to the corner so it creates the space. And, and our theory is usually in that kind of a situation in, in, in a break play like that, just get the spots. And, and get that screen in the middle of the floor. We were having good success with the screen in the middle of the floor. But it didn't get there. We shot it a little quick, and then we didn't get the board. So, but um, that's part of it. You know, we want to play with freedom. That's part of it. So, go ahead. It seemed like early the first eight, ten minutes, the game was faster up and down mm -hmm. more, and then they sort of slowed it down, turned it more into a half. I think we slowed it down, unfortunately. I don't know if it was them as much as we did. I, I think we weren't, we weren't, I should let you finish your question. I'm sorry. No, Go ahead. I, I don't think we, I, I, we weren't moving the ball as quick as we needed to there. And, and um, it seemed like we were sitting in that 23 range for a while. And no question, we were trying to dribble. Uh, we were trying to get, we were trying to create some contact. We were trying to uh, get them moving rather than just do what we do. And, um, and uh, in all honesty, I probably should have subbed a couple guys. And, um, and I probably should have got Yogi out at one point there because he was trying to do too much with the ball, you know, rather than just let it happen. But uh, we figured it out, and we, we usually do. And, and, and just when we, when we complicate our own matters, and that's, that's what we don't need to do. You know, when we're playing a simple game of drive, kick, play out of the corners, cut, move, we're pretty good. You know, and when we don't do that, it, we, we make it harder, and you have to move them. They're big and long, and they play good help defense, and they're always protecting the big guys. They know we want to attack them. But you've got to attack them off movement, not off you know, one or two passes. And in the first half, our big problem, we were 111 from the, uh, without using the paint. And that, that just not, that's a recipe that's not good for us. And um, when you don't have a true post-up game like us, you've got to get through the paint. You've got to play through the post. And we just didn't do enough of that. And we hit that little lull that you're talking about where we didn't do enough of that. Mike? Yeah, you had the score was tied, and, and, and they got two or three layups right in a row there. When, when I call timeout, you're talking about in the second yeah, half? When we went to the zone, and Nakis had his big dunk, and, and yeah. Davis got that layup. Yeah, and as I subbed, as you might remember there. Yeah, we got a little, we got a little, we, we, that was not, that was not by design. So that was not by design to let them come down the lane. And, um, on it, we, we needed to do a better job of standing our ground there. Is that the question? Yeah, was it just the fault of people in the zone, our guys in the zone? Uh, yeah, it was moving out of the way. Yeah. I mean, it, was just, it is what it is. I, mean, I don't think it's any big secret. You watched it. I mean, it, we, we just, we didn't, we didn't stand our ground. I mean, when they're coming down the lane, you've got to have better, I mean, you're in a zone for a reason. And at that point, it was a 1-3-1. One, one. 
And so you've got to play the middle. You've got the middle and the back. And we're not in that defense. We're not really going to the corner with that back man. So you just got to stand there and take your ground. That's why I subbed. Or hold your ground. That's why I subbed there. Tom, 47 minutes all your bench tonight. They scored two points. Is that tough of a night? Yeah, you know, I haven't really studied the box score as much. So, yeah, it's not good. That's not as good as it needs to be. But I haven't really looked through that. I'm a little more concerned about the rebounding because I think we missed open shots. But that we, we've got to get better rebounding out of our front line. Again, and again, when you're dealing with the front line the way you are with them, you've got to do a better job of limiting them to one shot. That's why we've, when we've had success, we've, we've out-rebounded people. We've held them to one shot for the most part, and then we get some offensive boards. So I'll go through the box score later and as we watch the film and see how that shapes up. But that's my initial thoughts on it. You mentioned the rebounding. What changed between the Minnesota game and tonight? Was it just the seven footers, the aggressiveness? What changed? For you? Well, it's a different game, for one thing. You don't pick up from where you left off, for another thing. Um, the ball bounces differently. That's another part of it. But I would probably say that we weren't as aggressive on the glass as we needed to be, and I think we missed some, we missed some blockouts. But again, I don't want to say that um, uh, wholeheartedly until I really look at the film, but my memory serves me correct. We missed some blockouts. But it's hard. You got to get, it, it, and when you're dealing with big guys and they're really doing a good job of focusing, and when we guarded the three, you think you hold a team to two of 18 from the three, you're going to probably have a pretty good chance to win the game. But we didn't do a good enough job of limiting them. And, and um, um, when you're in position, you every, you've got to get everybody into the glass. So without seeing the film, I would say that would be an answer to your question. It, 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 every game is different, but I would say we probably weren't around the rim as much as we needed to be when the shot went up. Um, I realize he missed a month and he's probably only back for about a week and a half. But Honor, I mean, how do you sort of get him to sustain that, that first eight, ten minutes where he came out and really looked like he's playing with confidence? Well, what's sort of the next step for him there? Well, I think the whole thing for Honor comes down to consistency. I don't think there's any question about that. Um, it, it's not going to, it's not going to, we're not going to move forward with one rebound, 17 minutes. And um, offensively, it was pretty good. And, and, um, um, he's just got to – there's going to be some fouls. I and mean, there's a lot of contact. They're aggressive. And um, bottom line, he's just got to continue to – he's got to he's got to hit people. He's got to use his second and third reaction, second and third effort to go up and get balls. And, and you know, you're playing defense, a shot goes up, you just got to go up and grab the ball. So, um, you know, he'll, he'll get back into that. And, and but we're, we're, we've been we, – you know, even when he was healthy, we were a little bit by committee in there. And, and, and we have the ability to do different things uh, with Colin. And at times, Stan, Stan defended that post pretty well. So they're hard to deal with, and those two are hard to deal with. And, and again, it's not the points tonight to me as much as it was the, the second shots because that's such a high percentage shot. You know, if you work and you try to be aggressive to make it a tough first shot, and at times we did, at times we didn't. But um, um, the second shot, th those were pretty easy shots, and he was a part of those as well. Coach, you addressed uh, in the first half you had your biggest lead, 20 to, 20 to 12, and then they, uh, they went on 11-3 run. We well, did the same thing in the second half uh, when they had their biggest lead at eight, and then about five minutes uh, later, you went on 11-3 run. How were you able to accomplish that? Well, um, the, the flow of the game was just, I mean, I, I don't have a specific answer because I don't have the running scoring total there. I would say we executed pretty well. Um, and even even when we were missing shots, I felt good about that. The only time I, I was most upset when they got the two, the layup and the dunk down the middle. I mean, that just can't happen. And but we got that adjusted. I mean, we we, we toughened up and and uh, we got better. But I again, I would just say when the ball is moving and um, when we're making that quick pass and we're making it one dribble early, which is a big thing for us, big thing to me, um, then we're better. But uh, I got to go back and look at the flow of the game to give you a more specific answer. I don't have that photographic memory. I'm sorry. Jeff, when, when threes aren't falling, what needs to happen for you guys to be able to win sort of a street fight like this? Well, I don't think, it, I don't think it's um, – we didn't take that many threes. I, I don't think it's going to change. We're going to stop shooting threes. And we missed open threes in, in a big sense. I think – that we got to get some rebounds, some offensive rebounds. Colin Hartman didn't have an offensive board. I mean, 17 minutes, no rebounds. I mean, some of it's bounces, and and we'll watch the film. But I think we'll see that we that, that our hustle on the glass wasn't what it needed to be. So again, it's it's offensive rebounding. It's it's making the next pass. Um, when we got in the middle pick and roll, we got a lot of good stuff. And and um, 
Um, I don't want to take anything away from their win. I mean, because they, they earned it. They did a really good job. But we missed some open shots in the bottom line. And so, um, um, we come out of a timeout and we're running an action. We slip the screen. Robert's got to drive right to the lane, but he tries to throw it back to Troy. You know, and Troy's not free. The play is for Robert to go. I mean, sometimes with young guys, that concentration, you know, and that focus when it's going fast is not what it needed to be. You know, so I mean, those are a couple things that would have given us a basket. It might have given us a three somewhere, right? So we're, we're, it, the bottom line is when the ball's going through the paint, I think I said this before about the other night, there was only one play that was really designed to get a three. And, 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 and that's it. Everything else was off movement, spacing, flow, back cuts, next pass, transition, offensive boards, whatever it is. That's the biggest thing for us. So it's really not a number of threes or a number of twos. It's just getting through the paint and getting the best shot.